Hi there, Tim, John, or the voice of Duke Nukem, and you're watching Tim's Tiny Arcade, mother effer. Hello, this is Tim from Tim's Tiny Arcade, where today I want to talk about the Atari Trackball. I ended up finding this um, at a pretty good price um, that I was willing to pay for it and never owned one of these uh, when I was younger. So when I saw it, uh, I thought I got to have it. So the ball itself sounds really good and seems to roll pretty good. Uh, the buttons are kind of flimsy though on it. I haven't tested this yet, so we'll try some games out like Missile Command and maybe Millipede. Um, I did notice there was a switch here on the side, and uh, kind of hard to read, but I got it upside down for you guys. But this side here on my, on the right says joystick, and the switch over here is trackball. So kind of interesting there. I don't know what the difference is, but we'll uh, try it out. And uh, we'll start playing Millipede first. All right, we got Millipede in. And I uh, got the trackball plugged in, and we have the setting on joystick. And it seems to move decent. Uh, definitely not arcade accurate, but I hate that spider. But uh, it seems to move okay. Definitely uh, going to take a little getting used to, used to playing this with the controller the, for the Atari 2600. Ah, I hate those spiders. Uh, the only issue I'm really having is the button. Now, you can see it's it's firing, but uh, I have to hold it down pretty hard and in one spot, so I think I'm going to have some uh, issues when I play uh, Try Missile Command out. But that could just be some cleaning for the contact, but like I say, as far as the trackball itself moving, it's fine. There we go. Ah, that's me. I got to move up quicker. Try one more life here, real quick. So maybe after I can, if I clean that, it will actually help out quite a bit. Try some missile command. With the button issue, I think I'm going to have some trouble. As far as moving the cursor around, it's uh, not too bad. There we go. Say, so I'll take this apart, clean the contacts, um, see if that's the issue. And hopefully, we can get the button just a little more accurate. Because this game, if, if you can't fire, you're going to be in trouble. And like I say, I'm just moving the cursor around. It moves real well. The ball seems to be pretty good. I think it's a little more accurate than maybe the controller. See, I can't, I can't fire there. I'm a little late on my fire. So once I get this button thing figured out, I think this is going to be something I will use to play some of these games. Okay, so I had some uh, issues definitely with these uh, buttons on this system. This is the side that I could get to fire occasionally, and this side I couldn't even get to fire. So I'll, I'll take a peek inside and see hopefully if I can get that working. Um, as far as the ball, pretty accurate, especially on Missile Command. I just like picking up anything Atari. Um, I, I probably own about 200 some odd games right now, 250 plus games, different games. So if I see something Atari, I'm probably going to end up getting it, unless it's outrageously priced, because Atari is an easy one for me to collect for, because typically most of the games you can get at a reasonable price, and I have a lot of nostalgia for collecting Atari. But anyway, that was my video on the uh, Atari trackball, and hopefully, like I say, I'll get it so I can fire these buttons a little more accurate and have a little more fun with this. But until next time, I will talk to you later.